What's good, guys? Gym travels. You know what time it is. Uh, we're back again with another gym impressions for you guys. A uh, new gym, of course. Uh, this one is a local gym. Mm, yeah. Close to home. Yes. So would you like to get us started with this? Yeah, right bit? in our backyard, Bullwell. Yeah, yeah. Gym beasts. Yeah, yeah. Now, with this particular gym, uh, it's actually just recently opened up. Uh, I think they've been open for less than two months now. Um, yeah, it was three weeks in at the time of the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Jay actually met the owner of the gym, Dean. Uh, once again, thank you very much to Dean for allowing us to come to your gym and to be able to do what we do best. But yeah, uh, so Jay had that conversation with Dean three days prior to us going in and we were able to uh, feature the gym as we normally do and also do a tour for it. But yeah, uh, would you like to get us started, uh, Adam? Because I know that you obviously had a little walk around the gym and you saw yeah. everything. Um, I was really impressed with the layout of the gym. Mm -hmm. I like I liked how he. Um, it's not a massive space. Yeah. But the way he's worked it, it doesn't feel like a cramped gym. It doesn't. I agree. So it feels quite spacious. It feels quite organised. It feels quite um, mm. quite a good flow as well. So once you walk in, the reception yeah. is very clear. Yeah. Everything. You know the. The, he's laid it out very well and mm. from my perspective video, video on it, it was quite easy yeah and it was people as well you know? yeah it, was, yeah, it yeah. was busy people was there but it was it still flowed well yeah, yeah. It, it was a little bit different for us because normally the gym tours that we've done so far we've done them on a saturday uh we normally go roughly in the mornings about 11 10 a.m uh whereas this time we actually went in on a monday mm -hmm. at peak hours i'm saying at the busiest period you possibly get it now understanding that this is a brand new gym you don't expect to see a lot of members no, this one was full. It's, it's packed already I, I had to ask because he had a lot of people in that gym for a gym that's just opened up so things probably have gone very well for him but just word of mouth i reckon also because yeah. they, I, I don't even think they were on the map were they when we tried to no look. no no i saw, yeah, I saw yeah, another gym that. yeah we mentioned that so when we were trying to find the gym we we obviously uh, we live in different parts of Nottingham, and so we're all going to the same location. We couldn't we couldn't find it on the map, and so we asked them about it. And obviously, with it being a new gym, they asked. It was that new? Yeah, they're looking. It's to not even it. on Google Maps yet. But that didn't stop people from obviously coming to the gym within, as I say, the amount of weeks. The gym was packed, which was crazy for us. Um, one thing about this particular gym, and you see, it, it flows throughout. You can see it. Is Dean, the owner, has created a community. Mm. And that's his goal. Like you can see how it flows. It's part of the DNA of what Jim Beats is, really. That like, it's very community driven. Um, he's got little communal areas, like you will see upstairs. So it's two floors on the bottom part. It's the main gym, and then upstairs you've got the boxing area. But then within that as well, mm -hmm. he's it's, then it's mostly classes upstairs. Yeah, you, you mentioned like pole fit, yeah, box fit, yeah. kickboxing, boxing, yeah. and also zumba. Exactly, and all those things are really to get the community involved. But as I, I like that. I really like. Yeah, that. but the, the part that I'm really focusing on was that room, that communal area where people can just come in and chill. Because most gyms don't even have that. Yeah, no. They might have like a little small seating area in front of the reception or whatever. But I'm the, saying the only ones that will have something similar would be like, you know, like the big expensive ones, yeah. like David Lloyd. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. True. Yeah, but True. smaller gyms, independent yeah. gyms like that, don't really focus on. Yeah. That. No, yeah. they just focus on just, just a gym, gym. Yeah, yeah. Right, the, the big ones. They yeah. focus yeah. on the leisure aspect. They exactly. might even have a cafe or whatever. So. Yeah, yeah. So it is something that's quite unique and something we've not seen across, I say, the year that we've been doing gym travels. This is the first gym that's delivered something so unique mm -hmm. and different that involves the community and its members within what he has created, and it's, I think that's honestly one of the most fantastic things I've seen. Um, they also had a punching machine. It's I an mean, arcade room. Yeah, we can talk about all the equipment and all that, but he had the punching machine. And I, to me, that was just like, honestly. That, Is that I, something you don't expect to see? It stood out, yeah, it stood out. Because we can talk about all the amazing equipment. Now, yeah. to be honest, the, the equipment, fine, finest of the, just, when it comes to equipment, I'm telling you, as, a bodybuilder, as the bodybuilder, yeah, it's, it's hit or miss because I come from, as I say, a lot of commercial gyms. And the thing that puts me off those gyms is essentially the fact that the, the, the quality of the equipment is a little bit more is poor. And you, when you go to an independent gym, you, you obviously expect higher quality, higher quality equipment. Mm -hmm. However, that's not always the case. However, Gym Beast, no matter how small it, it is, just delivers in the quality of equipment. It just moves right. But even the plates and stuff, you know, yeah. I thought they were banging and clanking. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're, they're, he did it himself. Yeah, oh, he yeah, compared yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah, he made yeah, them new yeah. again. The little details, because I was fascinated by the that. The thing to be is, honest. you can get things custom made, especially when it comes to if you want to feel 
if you're going for a very specific theme. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs some milk! Cut! But yeah, no, normally when, when a new gym opens, especially these little small independent ones, is that they, they have a specific theme that they're going for, um, which is characterized by, of course, the owner. Um, and you find that they can get things custom made from, for them through mm -hmm. manufacturers, yeah, for example, yeah. when they're ordering the equipment. However, with Dean, he's built the gym himself. From scratch. From scratch. Yeah. And I didn't, I couldn't tell because when I looked at the quality of the equipment and the way that he's mm -hmm. done it, I was like, yeah, I was like, I thought they were new. Yeah, I was like, well, where did you order this stuff? Or did you get it custom made? He's like, no, nah, he, he, he spray painted Yeah, he bought so, them, re yeah, re refurbished And I was just like, that's, that's, a, that's, that's passion. dedication. Yeah, that's, that's dedication. Passion. And look, we can babble on about it, but I think it speaks for itself that if you go there, you will feel the, 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 the devotion, the passion. And that, the community. Exactly, well. that uh, Dean has put into this gym. It is a gym that's probably going to grow into becoming one of Nottingham's hotspots. It's going to be a central hub, you know. Definitely. For us to hang out. Yeah, I mean, of, of course, with us being local and doing what we're doing, now we're sort of... Uh, we're sort of known a little bit. <laughs> Hell, get <there. laughs> no, we're getting there. No, so, we're getting there. Yeah, no. So with the people that we know within our circles, I, I've already seen people transition from their normal uh, day, day gyms to now going to try out this gym. Mm -hmm. So that speaks for itself. It's um, drawing eyes. It's getting attention. Yeah, yeah it is. It is, and it, it honestly surprised me because I, I don't know why, but generally speaking, um, within Nottingham, we don't get a lot of nice gyms. Mm -hmm. um, so this is why we started gym travels to see the best gyms in the world. So, but this is a new addition to Nottingham and we're very, very uh, fondly surprised by it. And it was an amazing gym. And I'm curious, you know, to see where it's going to go yeah. in the next two, three years from yeah. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, just to talk about the little other aspects, uh, the, the small, small minor things, um, like music and things like that. What did you guys think about that? Music was good. Yeah, yeah. It was booming. I, I, I had my headphones on for the most part. Um, so I actually didn't take note of the music, but... I did. It. I, the, I, the atmosphere in general was very upbeat and mm -hmm. there's a lot of youths of course um which is another yeah thing. that is a main focus that the is youth. yeah the youth because i remember with the conversations we had with dean he was talking about his upbringing and mm -hmm. how he wanted to sort of incorporate yeah. that within his own gym and bring more youths in there uh we saw a couple take them of off kids. the streets yeah as well. yeah just i like it i like the intentions the yeah 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 there's good intentions in that um but yeah overall i mean there's not really a bad word about what we can say about these gyms this gyms amazing um, it competes with some of the bigger gyms we've been to, and they were highly recommended. True. Um, do you guys any have any of your last thoughts about the gym? Yeah, me. Um, yeah, go on. Also, just because it's in like Bullwell Market in the center, there is parking in the back. Oh yeah. There is yeah. parking in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and also, the day pass was quite fairly cheap. Was it uh, four pound fifty? Four pound fifty yeah. for day pass. Um, they don't have contracts, so you're not obligated. So there's no obligation for you to sign in. No. You can pay as you go. Um, or it's ten quid a week. Yeah. Or 10, thirty quid a month. Yeah, but well, as I say, no contracts, so you can literally just come in whenever you need to. Um, and yeah, do what you got to do. I'd say it's easy to get to Bullwell as well because the tram line. The tram yeah, line. it's yeah. very. Yeah, very. So, close yeah, very even local. if you're not local to Bullwell, mm. you can still get there. If you're mm. not, you so. Yeah, yeah, but I think. It speaks for itself you can obviously see for us mm -hmm. that this gym has taken us by surprise um it's up to you guys you go make the decision for yourself but if you do please tag us if you post on social media that you've yeah. been to the gym share tag it gym let us know we want to know yeah we want to know if whatever gym that you have been to because of us let us know man. we want to know your travels yeah, as we well we want to know yeah <laughs> We want to get everyone gym traveling soon <laughs> but guys uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video please comment let us know your thoughts on this video subscribe if you're new to the channel mm -hmm. drop us a like share the video and guys what do we all say gym, gym travels, travels take, take it over, over the world. world gym travels out <laughs>